together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this song is about colors. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Now take two. Mix two colors and you'll make something new. Start with yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we do. You can also add a little bit of black or white. Yeah! <laughs> it's so good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? Is it a sheep? That's right! It's a black sheep! Ooh, I want to paint a black sheep, too! Let's see. A little bit here. Home! What's the matter, Hedgehog? My painting looks awful. It doesn't look like a sheep at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Huh. I don't like my sheep. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Wow, that's a lot of black. I didn't like how my sheep was turning out, so I made it a big, fluffy sheep. I like it! Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, can we make black the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting... Black! Crunching leaves, but only black leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Which ant is black? There it is! Black ant. Which dog is black? There it is! Black dog. 
Which feather is black? There it is! Black feather. Which bowl is black? There it is! Black bowl. Very good! It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called, Why is Nita Upside Down? In this story, a little girl named Nita feels like she doesn't fit in. I wonder why. Well, let's read and find out. Let's begin. Why is Nita Upside Down? Written by Emma Hearn, Roxana Bauer, and Sarah Bauer. Illustrated by Sarah Bauer. Nita's hanging upside down, her long hair tickling at the ground. The trees, the grass, the everything is all the wrong way round. Her feet, they poke into the sky. Little Navi is walking by. He says, I've seen you here before. You're upside down again. What for? Her feet swim lightly in the air. She tries to hide behind her hair. It's hard to t t talk, she says to him. I'm not the same. I don't fit in. Navi takes her by the hand. He wants to help her understand. They climb to Navi's lookout spot. From up here, they can see a lot. They perch and have a quiet stare at children playing here and there. Those kids are not the same at all. Abe's round. Cheese freckled? Layla's extra tall. Bam Bam's wild and must run free, while Lulu reads quietly. Look at Freya's crazy hair, and Tim wears glasses everywhere. And me? I am just skin and bone. And you are you. You're not alone. Each human's sort of strange, you see. That makes you just the same, like me. This world is really one big game. To play, we can't all be the same. Nita feels the right way round, thanks to the new friend she's found. Upside down was never fun. Now, she plays with everyone. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a new song. It's called... 
Home on the range. I'll sing the verse and then we'll learn the chorus together. Here we go. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play. Where seldom is heard. A discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Okay, now everybody sing. That's a lot of words, Mr. Frog. Yes, it is, Monkey. Just do the best you can, and if you don't know the words, just hum along, like this. Mm hmm. That's it. Okay, here we go. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Well done. And I learned some of the words, Mr. Frog. Yes, you did, Monkey. I heard you singing. See you all soon. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Mr. Mr. Frog. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Let's look for rectangles. Do you see one? Let's look for another one. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! <laughs> Hmm, this is tricky. Oh, there it is. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird won't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring If that diamond ring turns brass 
Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass If that looking glass gets broke Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat If that billy goat won't pull Mama's gonna buy you a cart and bull If that cart and bull turn over Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover If that dog named Rover won't bark Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart if that horse and cart fall down You'll still be the sweetest little baby in town